Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World, I am Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we finished the game because we went to the final area where we took on Bowser in his castle, it had shining glowing Vegas lights and we took him down. In this episode I'm back here at the Cheese, cheese Bridge area but rather than going in there and causing havoc like I've done on pretty you know, pretty periodically, I'm going to be starting something a little bit different. now. Didn't really do a lot with this. This is Star Road, okay? And there's lots to happen within Star Road. Main, most notably, lots of levels to do in Star Road. And you can do these in any time. You just have to unlock them. This being, I think, one of the most annoying ones. Because you've got to be so fucking... That was actually pretty good. I'm surprised I did it. Yeah. I'm surprised I did that so quickly. I never do this episode. This world. This level. This level. I never do it this quickly. What is going on? I must be lucky or something, but yeah, pretty much the, the case with these Star World, Star Road levels is you've got to find the secret exit every time, otherwise you're just going around in circles, which is interesting, okay, because you, it's, it's like the ghost houses in a way, oh dear. You might also notice that because I finished the game and reset the game in order to get here, it's given me five lives to do everything in, which could be very interesting if I get no lives in between now and what happens when you finish Star Road, okay? Because, oh really? Fantastic. <laughs> I am not allowed to get a game over in this game. It physically cannot happen within my means of whatever. I need to... Uh, there are various ways of doing this. <laughs> I can go like... Pow! Fire! That didn't get all of them. That's rather... Or at least most of them. That's rather annoying. But whatever. So yes, Star Road levels are considered to be optional levels. More importantly, rather difficult levels. And we shall notice them and find out more next episode. This is not the end of the episode, by the way. Before that, even sounds like the end of the episode. But we will find out more about what a difficult level looks like. I... That was lucky. That was lucky. I may have screwed myself. We will find out. I actually haven't screwed myself because all I need, all I need is my shell. I can get a Yoshi somewhere else if I need to. I just need to, no, really. I'm really bad at this game. When I have three lives without the cushion of like 30 of them, I'm terrible at this game, as you can clearly see. You can see the pattern it's trying to make out here. It's not that difficult to notice. It's going to make a circle and look amazing. <laughs> That's whatever. This, this is an annoying level, okay? To the point where I can't actually remember how to finish this one properly. If I want to show off all the other episodes, other I gotta. <laughs> I don't know how to say the thing I want to say. That's really annoying me. Okay, this is annoying, pretty bad. Okay, gotta like. Oh, there we go. There we go. Go, go fast. Go fast or go home. Go fast or go home. How far can I make this go? Probably not very far. Let's see how we do. I'm trying to do this properly rather than going for the secret area too quickly. I need to, oh, oh, nerves, nerves are, nerves are interesting, there we go, okay, because there is a secret way of doing this, but I don't think that's what we want to do right at this moment, because I want to show off all of these Star Road levels, this is where the Star Road actually got its name, rather than Secret Area, which was, ah, uh, I forget how many games actually had a Secret Area, but I definitely remember Lost Levels having a secret area, and it was absolutely asinine, and scary, and frightening, and because they had, like, loads, they had, like, uh, five secret areas, I think, which is crazy, okay? It's really crazy. I didn't get top of the flagpole! I also have zero, um, zero star points, whatever those are, the little, the, the, the things you get from going for the flagpole. Resetting the game is a really bad idea, okay? That takes me there, okay? The normal exit takes us there, which I think can tell you what the secret exit does, okay? Let's go to Star World 1. Done these in a little bit of a strange order, but that's because I didn't want to have to go back and get the right... Star World access. Yoshi can't come with it. Come with me this time, which is rather tragic. But okay, we can. That's that's fine by me. That's 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 whatever. I can I can deal without a Yoshi. I can I can play this game without a Yoshi. There's the secret exit. Boom! Didn't even need him. Didn't didn't even hesitate to need him. That's that's what that happened. We're going through here really quickly. Okay, <laughs> really really quickly. So here's the last one. This I remember actually being really weird. There's so many ways you can do this. You can get. Yoshi to eat that and he becomes a automatically a giant Yoshi or a normal Yoshi immediately or you can actually use it on yourself and Rip Van Fish isn't scary anymore basically Rip Van Fish these sleepy guys Rip Van Winkle the guy who sleeps it's, it's, it's a play on words it's so clever Nintendo so clever I I can't be angry at them for that even if the enemy involved is actually 
really annoying. And look, there's six of them. There's six of them. Let me eat all of them and just laugh at them. Laugh at you. Don't come after me. Please don't come after me. I don't taste very nice. I taste of blue dinosaur. Blue dinosaur. There we go. Okay. That's, everything's good. Everything's good. These are technically... Did you know these are not technically called cheap cheeps? They're called like blurgs. Or n not blurgs, because that's those weird enemies in lava. But they're, they're, I forget what they're called. Someone will tell me. I've asked a question now. Someone will tell me in the comment section. Or I could just put it on screen. Like I do always. <laughs> but whatever. I don't care. We're doing the Star Road. We're doing pro pretty well at the Star Road. We haven't died that many times, surprisingly enough. But this is the last area in the Star Road. And we're coming up to six minutes. So you see my issue. We can go through here. I might as well just show off where these are, actually. This is here. The other one is over there next to a fortress. That is the Forest Fortress. I might do that as a bonus episode towards the end of this Let's Play. So let's not look at that. Let's go down to this one in the bottom right. This is... It is... It is Bowser! So basically you can unlock this and automatically get to the final boss. Which is a little bit broken. A little bit broken. Ever <laughs> so slightly broken. Uh, this one on the bottom left. I forget what the bottom... One of these, I forget where it is. Is it this one? Let me just check. Uh, yes, it's the ghost house. This works quite well if I could only get there. Because I, the, I want to go into the ghost house. That might be what I spend the rest of my episode on. And then this one is Vanilla Dome, I think. Yes, it is. On the, on the hidden path of Vanilla Dome. So I'm going to meet you back in Donut Plains, where, because I've got spare time, I'm going to show you some funky levels. Actually, no, not quite yet, because what I actually have to do is finish this level properly to help me for next episode, so I don't have to do it then, which, and I, that would be annoying. There is a really easy way of doing this, okay? Thankfully, Blue Yoshi is here, which makes my life so much easier. So much easier. I don't think we can go the whole way by doing this, but we can go fair amounts. I just want to sort of keep the stage in sight, so I'm not too far away. Is there a, is there a Koopa here? I forget if there's a Koopa here. There isn't. That's fun. Okay, come back here. Red Koopa, come back here. I'm in need of your services. I need your services. Oh, he's not close enough. That's really annoying. Oh, this is going to screw me over, isn't it? I wish I had the cape feather. I could just glide to him. Oh, I'm not. I'm slightly not close enough. Okay. Okay, balls to the wall. Balls to the wall. No, I killed him. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that either. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's use brain. Engage brain. Engage brain. Engage brain. That was kind of engaging brain. We, we can maybe do something with this. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, that's fine. We, there isn't another way of doing this, but this is much, much easier. Much easier. A bit cheaty. A bit cheaty, I'll admit that. It is quite cheaty. Are we actually going to reach it? I don't know if we are. No! <laughs> oh! Oh, Yoshi, you died for my sins. <laughs> oh my god. That was ridiculously close. Oh. Everybody calm down. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway, that takes us to Star Road. Okay, this is this is Star Road. This is, you know, this is Star Road, Star World 5, which t I guess technically this is Star Road. It's all Star Road, okay? What does that mean? We'll have to find out next episode. I'm going to go to Donut Plains and have some fun, okay? Now then, when I did this originally, the Donut Ghost House, literally every single person alive, which is a lot of people, by the way, told me about what's in here. And for a start, I already know, because I know this game pretty well, but I thank you very much for asking me, or not for asking me, but for making sure that I know, not I, that I knew. P tenses are hard. Tenses are very difficult. There's an area up here. Very strange area this leads to. It's in a ghost house. Strange things tend to happen in a ghost house. But whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna go with it anyway. What's, what's over here? I hear you ask. With bated breath. It's lots of one-ups, okay, which is a good start already, because I've got three and I need more. Basically, I need, I need more one-ups, I really do. But we have an extra exit. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Very specific. We're here for something very specific, which is going to help if we're going to be taking on the special world, the special zone, next episode. A very strange area, simply titled, uh, Top Secret, Top, yeah, Top Secret Area. I don't know. What's going on here? It's pretty simple, okay? I can actually exit it, and it just lets me exit it. And this is a very important fact, okay? Because uh, this is going to be very important. It's simply a resupply of power-ups. And Yoshi, I can have fire flowers. I like my fire flowers. But I can also have lots of cape feathers, which is also pretty good. It's pretty simple, but it's a guaranteed location where you can get 
a lot of good stuff, which is pretty nice. But also, while I'm here, and we've got Cape Feather and Yoshi and loads of time on my hands, let's go back in here, okay? I'm going to meet you by the end of the level, okay? Now, other than the fact that I just made a whole lot of Cape Feathers appear, we also have this. A secret moment, a secret exit to the game. To the game. i got to stop using the wrong words. It's getting annoying. But it takes me to Donut Secret 1. There is a reason why I'm here. You'll work it out as we go along, okay? This is an annoying level. This is a very annoying level. And it has Rip Van Fish. It has a Cheap Cheap. That's a Cheap Cheap. This is very different, okay? Cheap Cheap up there, a different fish down there. They're entirely different. Rip Van Fish will never stop following me. He just did, just as I said that, which is clearly an important thing that I said that. I probably want a Fire Flower for this, but I'm not going to bring one, because I'm going to go, go fucking Commando with my... Well, Commando would be without any power-ups, which I, is a different challenge in itself, but I'm going to do... Go Cape Feather. No capes, as what's the face from The Incredibles set. I'm just going to keep referencing, referencing The Incredibles, because, I don't know. Edna Mode! Edna Mode! Everybody shut up, I remember. <laughs> okay. What I'm after is the P-Switch, okay? In this rather annoying level. Makes me swim slightly better. Slightly better. It's slightly more uh, harder to control. I float... Why do I float while carrying something? Am I that weighty? How, how heavy is Mario right now? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. This is what I'm here for. Look at me, Rip Van Fish, just here to annoy me while I do this. I somehow killed him. I'm not sure how that worked. He took my cape feather, which is rather annoying, but that's okay. Rip Van Fish waits around for no man. Basically, because he's a fish. He wouldn't do. But it takes us to, the, to Donut Secret House. A secret house full of donuts, which I approve of greatly. Now, you might have noticed before I came in here, there were two exits to this. Of course there are. It's a fucking ghost house. Ghost houses tend to do basically whatever they want, really. They just they just do whatever the fuck they want. There are two entrances. Ex exits. There are two exits from this ghost house. And that's very important, because those exits in question... Kind of cool, okay? One of us takes his... Well, no! No, I was talking! Also, you can't spin jump through ghosts, apparently. Like I was saying, one of those exits takes you to a bit of Star Road, which is important because I want, like, a short way of getting back to Donut Plain so I can stock up on, on top secret stuff. Top secret items or something. What does this say? Five entrances to the Star World and Donut... Don donut Land. Yes! Basically telling us about the Star... World, Star Road, Star World, that kind of thing, which is interesting if we didn't know about it already, basically. Uh, I forget the secret way and the normal way. We're going to do this first, which is go through here and then go up here. I forget if this is the secret way or the normal way. I want to show, I kind of want to show off both. This is the secret way, I think. We have a boss fight, okay, against Big Boo or something. I don't know. You know what? I don't really care. It's, it's quite a weird boss fight. I'm going to use the word again, it's pretty unique actually, because all the other boss fights in the game are either Reznor, who only shows up in fortresses, or one of the Koopalings, who are, you know, their, their battles are duplicated throughout the game anyway, except for Ludwig. So, that was a boss fight, out of nowhere. I guess it's an optional boss, he is an optional boss fight, of course he is. At least I showed him off, at least I did my bit, which is important. That was technically a boss fight, a little bit weird. Takes us to the Star Road, which is... Okay, basically pretty cool. The other exit, which I think is the blue door, the other blue door which was surrounded in blocks, which I didn't go to because I didn't really need to, would take you through the pipe. The pipe would take you to uh, the Valley of Bowser up on a ledge somewhere, a really annoying level in there as well. And then out the other pipes, you can get a, an easy way, I guess, to world level three, I guess, Donut Plains three. But this has been Mario Luigi. This has been Let's Play Super Mario World. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the special zone, the star road, the star, the, the other thing, the thing on here, which is rather difficult. You're going to want to stick around for that. You're wanna, going to want to see that because there are levels in there which are rather difficult. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Take care.